Hey guys, welcome back to another English Plays, hosted by me, Dead English, and today we're back in Metal Gear Solid. Oh, I see a guy I'm going to kill already. So last time we left off, I, uh, we pretty much defeated the Hindi, and we defeated Sniper Wolf for the last time. So that's good. What the fuck are you doing? Does it come over any further? I better get down. Okay. No, it doesn't. It's just gonna make me wait. Okay. So yeah, so that's what was happening last time. Thankfully, I didn't die to either of them. Um, yeah, this round has been pretty good in terms of deaths. I've only had four, technically. Three, technically, but counting the president uh, as one as well. Oh! Really? You locked on for a split second? You fucking suck. Really? Really? Okay. Fuck you. Going up. Yeah, how are you going to get to me, motherfucker? Okay. So that was stupid. The auto lock on for aiming went off. Um, yeah. Wonderful controls. Wonderful controls for this PC version. Like I said before. Come on. Thank you. I want to explore over here. Ooh, a ration. Thank you. Let me see. Anything down here? Another ration. I don't need that. What's in here? The moss. Okay. Well, let's get going then. <laughs> I'm probably going to need rations uh, in plentiful demand. Or not in plentiful demand. I'm probably going to need rations and they won't be in plentiful demand, I should say. Elevator's raising up here for me. How nice! I didn't even have to call for it. Wonderful. Moss, anything over here? No. But this has stuff. Let's get the FAMAS out, because I don't trust this elevator just being sent up for me. Come on! Thank you. There he is. Of course. Ooh, sweet jump, bro. You too. All right, so there are only three now. Instead of the four last time, I only have to face three. Let me get my body armor on. What happened to my Famas? Fuck you. There we go. This guy has my style of aiming. I like it. Okay. Come on. Okay, you're dead, right? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are! Alright. Oh, I'm about to face Raven, aren't I? I remember this bit. Raven's right after, uh, Elevator. Yeah. Alright. That's gonna... Oh, Jesus. Fucking. Fuck you. How about that? How about you fuck yourself? Yeah, Raven is right after an Elevator, and that's gonna be fun, seeing as how the controls are pretty sketch in the PC version. They're all full of sketch. What's my uh, health situation like? Okay, it's alright. I mean, I could always take another health kit and grab one if there is one before there. We'll see, we'll see. Ah! 
I meant to hit, not just lean casually up against the guardrail. Yeah. I have a thing for birds. No, Snake. I don't. I've got something yeah. to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What is it? Her. Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, <laughs> the monitor's off. Okay, what's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. What about yeah. it? And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was exactly all a snake. big lie. You don't know that. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied. She might be a spy. We're all spies, dudes. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. I don't remember. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But, you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja, too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. How could she Either possibly that, behind, be behind it, with dude? The terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Okay. Why well, just chill out here? Be like Mike Tyson with the birds. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, what a pleasant elevator ride. Is there anything between here? Yes, there is. And I knew it. Like I said. Okay. Wanna need uh my card key out. Nikita missile. Nikita missile will come in handy. Okay. There we go. What's up, dude? This dude, if they ever made a movie, they should get Dwayne Johnson or Dave Bautista to play him. Because look at him. Welcome. That would be Zach. a good fit, I think. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen, they agree. They're just squawking. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's funny, but, but not that, that funny. That was no true battle. Big jump. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? That's weird. <laughs> you got some weird tattoos, man. I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah. Uh. Your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. Can I control myself you now? You live in Alaska too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics? No. Yeah, I know it. it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, what you are right. Fuck? But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. What? It is an event the... where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. Strange events at the ears? Indian Olympics or Eskimo but Indian Olympics. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. 
This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words. Okay. So I remember the strate strategy for this. There we go. Oh, he's getting close. Fuck. Come on now. Fucking controls. I swear to God, I just wanted to go, to go down. That was good. Let's see if I can get one more clean shot off. There we go. That was good. I'm running out of ammo here. That was good as well. Let me see if there's more ammo around here. Oh shit! Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me, bro! Where is he? What in the fuck? Okay. Gotta be somewhere around here. Fuck. Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo. There we go. Fuck, I didn't. Expect that to be there. Oh, good. Ran into a corner. Stinger missile. The fuck is that going to do me? What do I got here? Got a grenade I could try to throw. What about some C4? Fuck. Uh, let's try a grenade. Fuck. That was certainly not a Hail Mary. That might have been. Fuck. Get out of the way, you wing nut. Where's my C4? Got him. That was a good shot. Fuck, fuck, fuck. He's gonna get me. Fuck. Oh, that was good. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But. My body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. So she she bore you like Snake. a child, or it bored you? I will be watching you. Like you were Understand? bored. Snake. Take this security card. It will open that door. Right on. Thanks, Why? dude. You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go that's, and do battle with him. That's I will weird. Be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. What is it? Uh, DARPA Chief. Who is DARPA Chief, Alex? <laughs> that's that's not a hint. That's a direct that reference. Not the DARPA Chief. It was Decoy Octopus. 
a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. Ew. Gross. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the Chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Alright. Snake. In the natural world, there's no such thing as What are they doing? Oh, God! There's always an end to it. What are they doing? You are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. They're just eating them. You shall have no Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. Okay. That was interesting. That was a relatively good fight. I didn't need a health care or anything. Snake, it's me. Master. Yes. It's about Naomi. We already Turn had that conversation. Off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. How the fuck Naomi do you know? Hunter somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. We're all spy. spies. Yes. Maybe she's been sent <laughs> oh, to sabotage yeah, yeah. this operation. Are you saying she's Fuck with it. the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? <laughs> she's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> Have you let her in that on some good. kind of vital secret kind or something? Kind of suspicious. Does this have anything <laughs> to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry, then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. How cold. Uh, no pun intended, since I'm in a very cold room. Where is my card key? Ah! Can now get into most places. Oh fuck! My health is all the way up. Oh shit! You see those things on the wall? Where is... There you are. Come on, throw it. There's a bunch of turrets in here. Look at that! How many turrets do you need for one man? Seriously. Fucked up. Ooh, I remember this. Metal Gear. Let's go 
up. Hmm. Yes. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? <laughs> yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like Are you a I don't hacker? Know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Hack like you've never hacked before. Come on. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Come on. Shaft grenade, that's good, because I just used one. Alright, let's go up. What? What now? Otacon! How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Okay. Let's go up. Another ladder? Fucking hell. I swear, if Otacon calls me again... Oh my god! Ay, ay, ay. You got past security? Bingo! Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. Do those so tell me how to shut it down? The system that Baker talked about. I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. Seriously, I dude. I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It, it doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. Sneaky, sneaky. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? You yeah. mean like this game the has been a is, whole been stealth, stealth game? Stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Of oh, course. Yeah. That makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? Why not say, Colonel, are you listening? Is this true? If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the Star 3 Treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States what would the be fuck denounced was by that? the UN. It could even bring the President down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You changed, Colonel. I you won't changed, make any man. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested only simulated you mean they ran a computer model yeah that's why they were conducting this exercise they needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation honestly the Otacons, of the exercise it just looks like it went better than they hoped for. tell me how to I, shut it down I can't find the data anywhere on this network you think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded it was President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data what you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Wah, wah. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? 
Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Do like it! I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Stop trying to look through who he's screwing at the time and just tell me what to do. Okay, let's go over here. Is there anybody on this level? Oh, yeah, there is, but he's running away, so we're okay. Gotta get down here before he comes back. Run, run, run. Fuck you, Cole. I gotta get through here. Ooh, cutscene. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Lopnor, China? Us. What the fuck? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But you know, Golukovich there. is in the second Wrong. one. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear Olga test site. is uh, if in we the nuke second a major and population third one. Center, the game's or no, second and fourth one. But a nuclear one. explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India, I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington Confused. won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. You yes. bastards! The president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars. All that this for some spermies. To cure our genome soldiers I don't as well. get it. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. She was Something taking the diazepam as well, I guess. Blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. I can't their let that happen. Their army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? If we I can have launch to. a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your what about to Colonel food, Kukovich? smart guy? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. Food, clean water. Surviving Big Boss's dream. 
But today, call this place a Outer Heaven. Oh, shit. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. Don't By stop the way, me what now. What should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. No, She's let Campbell's her live. niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Thank you. Girl. She's alive. Oh, this guy again. I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see, the override system that the president was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You Just see, tell me how to fucking the deactivate them. is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Thank Hold you, on Snake. A <laughs> exactly. That's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? Yes. I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Yep. Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one okay. on the right is the high temperature key. So yellow, okay, I got it. Blue First and red. And blue is cold and, and red is hot. Order, right? That's Go right. figure. All you do is insert the card keys. <laughs> How could I ever figure that module, out without you? The hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is <laughs> fighting on that. He can see me right there. Oh, shit. That's a good shot, even with one arm. Stubby. Damn you, Stubby. He fell in the drainage ditch. Damn you. Snake, this is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy <laughs> watching you die. The <laughs> fuck, dude? Snake, you've got to get that key. Got it. I'm gonna run back here and run down the clock. Let me in. Really? The clock won't run down with me in there? You are a son of a bitch. Flip him. Okay. I shouldn't need a stun grenade, I don't think. Let me get over here. Ooh, let me get on top of the Metal Gear. They can't get me up there. Fucker. This is what I was trying to do before. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, it was uh, Bioshock. I was trying to think of the game where I had to wait all the time. It was, it was Bioshock. Because I kept on getting seen by the cameras and having to go invisible. And I was like, oh, damn it. I'm sorry, guys. I remember now. All right. So let me go down here, find the key which is in the drainage ditch, apparently. Let me put my thermal goggles on so I can see what's in there. Okay. Any 
anything over here. Fucking bomb. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. There. Let's put the thermal glasses back on. Okay. Why is my health going down in the water? I don't understand this. So calm. Where the fuck is the card key? I'm looking everywhere. Fuck you. Really? Card key's not here, dude. Okay. Fucking thank you. There was a ration right there. Let's go back up. I'm gonna just put the card key in and then I'm gonna cut the video after. Alright. Up, up, and away! Thank you. Okay. So we're getting close to the end here. I have a feeling next video should be the last one, um, but I'm not sure. There might be two more left, just barely, but that's if the cutscenes and the fucking codex are extremely long. If they're alright, then I only have one more video left, but cutscenes and codex have been really long thus far, so you never know. You never know. Unless you played the game and listened to all the codex and shit. Shut up! I'm going in here. Fuck. Okay. Where is my card? There we go. Thank you very much, sentient AI robot thing. Awaiting PAL code number two. Okay, that takes care of PAL code number one. Alright. Now PAL number two, freeze the key. I know where to do that. I'm gonna just go over here, and I'm gonna cut the video there, and I will see you guys in the next time. See ya dudes!